wake up. What? What is happening? Are you Kevin Adams? Yeah, who are you? Kevin, we don't have a lot of time. I've been sent here for you. Your doors are about to close uh, again. I need to get you out of here. You want to get out of here? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, come with me. Let's go. Okay. All right, so, Kevin, what we're going to do is we're just going to head down here. I hope you're going to be able to climb because we're just going to... Prison. It's that orange is definitely my color. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to leave everything behind. If you bring that with you, the dogs will be able to find you. You'll be right back oh, here. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. right. All right. Okay. So, all right, team. I have the package. We're headed to the extraction zone right now. Kevin, what I need you to do is. What? What are you doing? This bed is perfect for me, okay? You think that we're going to be able to get that through there? It contours to my every shape, okay? I can't sleep without it. Kevin, let's go. All right, let's go. Right, right, right. Right. Okay, 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 yeah. All right, so. Oh, wait, hot dog Wednesday. What? Today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. They, they serve hot dogs on Wednesday. Are you serious? Are you? Yeah, I, I can't miss that. D Kevin, you can buy whatever food you want whenever we're out there. We just, we just need to go. What about Chester? <laughs> okay, what is that? You, Kevin, okay, just hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, what is it? Uh, Kevin! What is it now? Just Look, I've been saving these up for a long time, okay? Hey, Daryl, you still want to trade cigarettes? Yeah, that's cool. Look, I gotta trade these with Daryl, okay? What? Me and Kyle got this, like, cigarette business, and I can't just leave him now. Kevin, I don't think you understand this. Your door's gonna close again. I need to get you... Kevin, come out. We need to go right now. Please. Just leave everything? Kevin, you need to come with me right now. We need to go. But what, what, what could be better than all this? Kevin, you don't understand. They'll find the way I got in. I won't be able to come back for you. Yeah, I just need more time, okay? Kevin. Like, th this is my home. Kevin, get out of this cell. That I know. I can't, I can't just this leave. This is your right only now. chance. I, I, I just need to think about this. This, this is my home? Oh, Kevin. <sighs> Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm... Suspect is at large, at large, there is peace. Suspect is at large. No, wait, wait. Cell time secure. Next, get route. Suspect is at large, at large, there is peace. I gotta get him out there. Wait, wait! Wait, please! Don't leave me here, please! I can let it go! I can let it go, please! Wait, please! I promise I can let it go, please! Please don't leave me here! Please don't leave me, please! I can let it go, I promise! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, please! What Kevin refused to let go of kept him until that kept him in that prison until it was too late recently i was reading matthew 25 jesus tells about these 10 bridesmaids five of them were wise five of them were foolish i think that's the first thing that shocked me it wasn't one foolish and nine wise. It was five and five. All of them had lamps which speak of light. All of them were looking for the bridegroom. They weren't unbelievers. The bridegroom comes and the wise ones enter in. And the door is shut like with Kevin. And they pound on the door and they said, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he said, I don't know who you are. And they were left in outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. In the late 1980s, you've heard me say this probably four or five times here. God gave me a riveting vision. I saw those unwise virgins. It was a sea of humanity. And what I mean, it was so big, I couldn't see the end of it. Behind me were the gates and Jesus in the city. I never saw them, but I knew they were there. What God let me see is the faces. Every one of those people called Jesus Christ their Lord. And I heard him say, I don't know who you are. 
I don't know you. Depart from me. And I saw the excruciating shock on every one of their faces, the ones that were in front. And right then, God put a passion in my heart, not only for the lost in the street, but even more so the lost in the church. Paul finally writes to this church, and he says, stop sinning. What's amazing is it wasn't until last year that I discovered he said exactly what Lester Summerall said to me. For to your shame I say, remember, he's talking to a church. To your shame I say that some of you don't know God at all.
You're blessed when you tell them yes. You want to lift up your voice and tell the Lord yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Somebody tell them previous concerts that we've done in the past that we know that you would love to preview and you can find them at the bottom of our screen.